Hi everyone, how are we all? I hope you are all well. I hope you are all staying safe in this very, very <laughs> extremely hot weather. Um, I've had to start this video again because I, I was rambling. I was rambling a lot even for my standards and I was just like, Anna, get, get to the point. Um, so I'm just gonna get to the point. Although I do just wanna point out that these earrings, um, they're from a collaboration that my friend Abby did with a brand called Daphne and I just, Feel like they could be my new personality like very into them um i actually took off my necklace i had on like my majuri curb chain but it just felt felt like a bit too much jewelry around the face you know what i mean um so yeah i'm liking these thank you abby for sending them i think they're very very cool i think she's done a four piece collection i think there's like some emerald earrings like an emerald ring and then maybe a bangle but i was like oh these feel like a bit of me and they do feel like a bit of me on. So thank you so much for that. But today I wanna to share the findings of something that I did recently. And actually I saw Alana do a similar video and I had already like purchased this product. But from Alana's video, gosh, now I'm, I'm going off on a tangent again. Alana did a video where she had a like personal styling session with Alison Bornstein who you, you know I love. Like if you've seen my recent videos, you'll be like, okay, Anna, we get it. You're a little bit obsessed. And I have booked in <laughs> for a session with her because I've just got, I've got some questions that I would just love her to answer and I would just really enjoy hearing her input on. Um, so I've got that booked for the end of the month and I'm really, really excited for it. Um, but I've said before, I'm just in my osmosis era like I'm all here for knowledge and new ideas and listening to the professionals and hearing what people have to say like I'm desperate for a professional color analysis like if anyone knows anyone who does that in the Sussex area I guess I would travel up to London as well like if anyone has had it done and has a personal recommendation I would love to do it I'm very intrigued to hear what my colors are like with that change my mind and give me a bit more confidence when it comes to colour. I don't know, maybe it would. But yeah, that is all a very long way of saying that on my TikTok page, I kept being served this page called Fashively. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's basically a team of stylists and you input a load of data, AKA like fill out a questionnaire about your personal style, what you like to wear, what your lifestyle is like, what you feel like you need, like what outfits, what outfit ideas do you need? What do you need help with? And in return, they give you a personalized style guide. FYI, this is not sponsored. I literally just came across it on my TikTok and then paid for it all myself and just kind of want to share, share the idea that like maybe employing the professionals to help you with certain things like styling, your home, getting a color analysis, I don't know, stuff like that can actually just be really, really helpful. So I got the package that gave me 10 outfits. I think there's sort of like different options. Um, but I think they gave me 11, which is very kind of them. Thanks for that. And I thought it'd be a fun video to go through them all. Like let's go through the package and the PDF together. And just to see what I have in my wardrobe already to see if it inspired me to try any like new combinations or maybe there are some outfits that I'm like, oh, I feel like I really need to be in the market, whether it's like secondhand or new for X. Already from going through, I'm like, I don't actually own currently any black shorts. And that feels like a hole that needs to be filled. Um, so I thought we could go through it together. I've obviously had a quick little flick through, but I haven't sort of put it into practice in my wardrobe yet. Um, but overall, I was just like, oh, this is like, a cool idea. I think this would be really, really helpful if, say you were going on holiday and you wanted like holiday looks or maybe you're getting married and you needed like rehearsal dinner, hen party, like day before you get married, the day after you get married. I don't know if you needed like a kind of cohesive like package of looks, I think it would be really helpful for that. Um, but yeah, this was just like a fun little exercise to do. And I have to say it's made me like absolutely buzzing to meet Alison. Like I'm so... I'm so excited. I keep thinking of things that I want to ask her and then like going into my notes app on my phone and like writing them down so I don't forget. But let me just show you a quick little like flick through now. So this was my style guide and this is how they pull it all together. So yeah, I think there are 11 outfits in total and then at the end they kind of have extra links of things that they think might be helpful in your wardrobe. Um, but yeah, let's go through and like try on some new outfits. So my question to them was, how do I marry this like groomed 
polished sort of vibe that I want to my style whilst also remaining quite comfortable and casual and able to like knit down to the park, knit down to the beach. And I feel like they came up with some really good solutions. So let's go through outfit one. I'm gonna put their picture on the screen here so that you can see it, but they've done like an asymmetric one shoulder t-shirt. I feel like that's maybe just a bit too trendy for me, a bit too cool. I'm not sure that is something that, that to me feels like a bit too Tammy girl. <laughs> but I obviously do have white t-shirts and I actually just bought this one from Skims. I think this is what they're calling a baby tee these days where it's like really tight on your body. I realized I just had no tight t-shirts um, and I really, really like this style. I tried a different style from Skims, but the shoulder bit here wasn't long enough, so it kind of kept like riding up. Um, so if you've got slightly broader shoulders like me, this one would really work. Um, I also just sold my shorts. I realized that the one pair of denim shorts that I had just weren't the right fit for me. So I've made an Goldie order off net Porte and I've got a lot of shorts that should be arriving sometime soon. Um, Cause I've realized that a Goldie like sizing just kind of really works out for me. I've definitely sized down like one or two sizes, but I just feel like I really enjoy the fits. Um, so I can't do denim shorts. I might just have to do some denim and I don't have a short sleeved blazer again I feel like that might just be like a little bit too trendy for me might be one of those things that if I'm ever like in a shop I might put it on a list somewhere just to try on because it might be one of those things that if I actually tried on I'd be like oh I actually really like this but I think it would end up being something in my wardrobe that didn't feel particularly timeless or like has a lot of longevity for me um, but I've got quite similar accessories so let's see how this one goes okay so this was billed as a weekend look for me and I, I definitely think it could be. I feel like it gives me a way to wear these Manolos, which I kind of haven't really worked out how to wear. That's definitely gonna be a question for Alison. And I like the black accessories. I like like the little black bag with the black belt, with the black shoes. And then yeah, the blazer just thrown over the top. This feels like a very me outfit, but obviously I've used things I already have and already love in my wardrobe. The email that they sent with the fashion guide actually was very like, hopefully you'll have things in your wardrobe that are, like a little bit similar. And it wasn't all about like buying new, new, new things necessarily. Um, I feel like I've kind of made this one work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna snap a little picture of this one for future reference. Okay, outfit number two is for errands. That was another area of my life that I was like I just I need to be comfortable but I want to look chic and I really like this one and I was very very close to buying the shirt the shirt is actually from Anine Bing Anina Bing um I was very very close to buying it but I was like I have so many button down shirts um and quite a lot that I don't wear that often so I'm like I don't need to do that I feel like I can make this work with what I've already got in my wardrobe and I always forget that I can just wear a shirt over the top I feel the need to always reach for a jacket but actually an undone shirt over the top um looks pretty cool as well so I've actually got this Jeff Avenue brown shirt that's the thing I was gonna buy a brown shirt and I was like I already have a brown shirt I might just wear it with this t-shirt and then get some black linen trousers these ones are from dish um and then with some sandals and a little bag I can make this work okay I need to add this one into the repertoire immediately I really really love this hopefully you can see all of it there I actually just put it with my Aviana flip-flops um but yeah oh my gosh I, I really really love this I love this color combo and I never think to put a shirt over the top as a jacket but I'm like oh thanks guys yeah definitely definitely going to be re-wearing this one look number three is for a beach day we spend a lot of time down there and this is obviously like beach slash park slash just out and you know what this is going to be quite a hard one <laughs> to replicate because I don't really own a top like that and I don't own black shorts either um but black shorts is something that from this guide I've now added onto my list I'm like I need a pair of black shorts it makes zero sense that I don't have any black shorts. And something that I wanna ask Alison actually is I feel like my category of tops is just a bit like lackluster. I feel like I've either got t-shirts or shirts or knitwear. I did recently get some knitted vest tops and they've been really, really helpful, but it's just been too hot to wear these ones recently. But is there a genre of top that I'm missing? I feel like very possibly. Um, so I'm gonna have to experiment with this one a bit. I might have to wear it with these linen trousers instead. And maybe it's just a plain vest top kind of day. Did I buy the St. Agni bag that I've wanted for two summers? I did, I did, I have no regrets. I feel like this is one of those outfits. It needed a particular formula of things that I don't really have. Um, yeah, it would be so much cuter 
with shorts. I think shorts and just like a plain white vest top with like my linen over the top would be a much nicer combination. It feels like there's just a bit too much fabric going on here. So this is definitely like a, it's not you, it's me kind of situation. So black shorts are definitely getting added to the list. Number four is another beach day look. And I feel like, again, this is a reminder of just getting the perfect pair of denim shorts for you that you feel fab in, whether that's like high-waisted, low-waisted, like short, like longer length. I feel like I, I just need to find it. Like I'm really, I'm quite excited for this parcel to arrive because I feel like it could be in there but we're just gonna have to do denim jeans for now. I feel like the most cut out I can do is this. We have got a slightly more cut out one. Hmm, let me go find that one. I've got this one from Toe 10. This one is pretty cut out, so I'm gonna do that. Obviously I've got an oversized linen shirt to go over the top and it's always a good reminder to get my straw hat out. I actually wore this at the weekend because it was so hot and I just, I love this straw hat. It's, it's kind of everything you want in a hat and it also has a massive rim to it. So it actually does cover your face, but let's do outfit four. Okay, this is a good one. I feel like because of the accessories that I've used with this, this is almost dressed up to like beyond a beach day. And um, I've gone for my Lock Ara sandals because the Fashionly Guide had some like chunky cream sandals, which I don't personally have. So I thought I'd do a slightly lighter sandal and then it had the little kind of ropey bag that reminds me a lot of my alien nina bag um yeah this this makes me think this is a good kind of oh sorry tripping over my flats this for me feels like quite a polished groomed meeting sort of outfit like meeting in town i don't know this feels quite old school anna actually this is this is giving me like 2018 vibes you know i really like it though um yeah this is definitely one i'm going to take a picture of just to remember for future reference could be a quite a nice like casual date night drinks look as well wait i forgot the hat i forgot the hat okay the hat definitely dresses it down i feel like this now needs like the aviana flip-flops and like my big straw bag and then that would be a very like going down to the beach with ralph appropriate outfit you know okay look number five was night out and this really reminded me of my dish dresses also my totem yellow dress i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it i'm so pleased that i salvaged this uh, last year when i first started uploading onto tiktok and i did that series where i went through every single thing in my wardrobe and tried everything on and had a huge clear out i so almost got rid of this dress and i'm just really pleased that I didn't. Um, people were like, no, keep the yellow dress. And I listened to you and I'm pleased I did. So I think I'm gonna do this yellow dress instead of the one here. And then they suggested like a sleeveless blazer, which could be kind of cool. I do actually have a new waistcoat in town. This one is from Sir and it's stunning, like absolutely stunning. However, I feel like the black and the yellow, it's just a bit bumblebee. It needs to be a bit softer, I think. But maybe there'll be an outfit for that later on. So I might just do this with my toe tem blazer. There's like a little black bag. That's gorgeous, actually. I might have to click on that. Oh, the little black crochet bag is from a neem thing. Good to know. And then some kind of strappy heels. Um, I've got my by far sandals, so I think I can make this one work. So I did try this on with the by far sandals and it actually, it was just like way too dressy, like way, way, way too dressy. I think there's a spot that needs filling in my wardrobe for kind of like a shoe that looks a bit like this, but isn't an Aviana. I am tempted by the toe tem ones, um, but people keep saying how uncomfortable they are, but there's a few on Vestier and a few on Vinted that I'm kind of keeping my eye on. Um, I'm not sure if this is like the right color to go with this i'm not sure if this is like a bit too cool and this is like a bit too warm i'm not sure this outfit is singing to me like individually but maybe not all together but i have gone quite off piece <laughs> from what they suggested but yeah let me know what you think of this one i feel like there's maybe a slightly better combination here outfit number six is a day date you know occasionally mark and i might just like go out for some lunch or a nice little drink here and there and i wanted something that was like casual and comfortable, but also like a little bit smart. I really, really love the top they suggested here. I think I clicked on it and it's from Reformation and I was just like, oh, very tempted by this kind of like slightly corset, slightly bandeau top situation. Like, oh, next week I'm going to the curate and rotate pop up. So all of these things I'm putting on my shopping list, I'm definitely going to see if I could get there, because that would be really, really helpful, really cool. I have got some linen trousers. I feel like I just, the cargo thing, I'm not sure if the cargo thing is for me, but I do have like a wide leg linen trouser. And obviously I have an oversized shirt as well. I really love how in this guide,
side they've like repeated things like there's the shirt again like we had this shirt before just because that's like what we're all about here re-wearing just because that's like the vibe isn't it like you know we want to be like getting our wear out of clothes well so yeah I saw this and was like oh I'm really gonna struggle to recreate it I think I might just have to wear my like white vest top with this one but I can tell you now that some kind of maybe it's not necessarily corseted maybe it's a little bit less structured than that but just like some kind of strapless or very strappy um white top i think would be very handy in my wardrobe okay this outfit is very me very in my wheelhouse uh these trousers are from dish and they're double lined they're a really nice kind of slightly smarter option i feel like when it comes to linen trousers i've got my avianas on again like there definitely is a spot in my wardrobe for maybe like i don't know like an ancient greek sandal or something or the ones in those guide i'm pretty sure are from anine bing they look really lovely as well i've got arquette 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 there was a little white bag i don't actually own i don't think any white bags no but I, I like it with this i like that there's like it adds a bit of warmth to the whole thing um but yeah wouldn't this look so much cooler with something a bit more exciting happening under the bottom rather than just a plain white tank so um yeah gonna put that on the shopping list now outfit number seven is weeknight drinks like occasionally <laughs> occasionally very occasionally but still occasionally i'll go out in the evening for drinks with friends with my NCT girls with mark my family um and yeah well, you know what soon we're gonna be hosting again i've bought a lot of cookbooks this week i'm very excited for that and i feel like this would be a nice like hosting like comfortable enough to like cook in the kitchen um, but still look a little bit put together um this also reminds me i don't own that many cardigans i literally have my Suzanne cardigans in the black and in the brown so maybe i'll wear that with it or oh, i do have the arquette cardigan that might be a little bit too thick for this i'll try it on um and actually i might just like let the cardigan go completely and wear a knitted tank um because i just i really really love the knitted tank it's giving me a lot more options in my wardrobe it's giving versatility so let's try this on i feel like this outfit is giving like exactly what i want to give does that make sense it's giving like hostess with the mostess very casual very like i woke up like this this is just my this is just me every day i haven't been styled by a stylist <laughs> Obviously, there's the knitted cardigan to put over the top if you do want to, but I don't know. I feel like because this is knitted, this is actually probably enough for me. Um, these are the Agoldi pinch waist, um, like 90s jeans that I've been wearing throughout. Super into these. I've got the Arquette suede loafers on. I think they suggested like a cream ballet flat. I, I bought a pair of ballet flats. I did buy a pair of ballet flats. I found them on at Bestier. I bought a pair of secondhand repettos that have been resold. And you know what? They are so darn comfortable. Um, and I'm just wearing this with the it's an acne bag so yeah this is this is definitely a thumbs up from me oh the hair is buzzing today let's chat through the final four looks because actually i've had a quick look through and i'm like i don't think i can physically make this from my wardrobe that i've already got however it's definitely food for thought and i feel like there might be a few things to add onto my shopping list uh, but look number eight is an event look and it's a matching light colored top and trousers and you know what i get so much wear out of my black toe 10 blazer pairing it with my black like mango trousers or my black toe 10 trousers and making a suit out of it it's just like an easy go-to know that it looks great know that i feel really good in it just like such a good go-to and i hadn't even considered getting like a different version of it like that just makes so much sense to me oh uh, if i could find where's my blazer i could find some matching trousers to go with this that would be amazing i mean these ones from reformation aren't like a million miles away but they're not matching i don't know maybe i have to see and do some scouring online because this was from secondhand um bestiaire so did they even make a matching trouser to go with it? Maybe I'll email them. <laughs> I'll email customer services and see. Because if they did, I would love to get the matching trouser. But if not, maybe there's a different blazer trouser combination I could look into. I think the one they suggested here, again, is from Anine Bing. Um, but yeah, I'm like, oh, I feel like that was a really, really, really good recommendation. I would really add like a go-to summer event look into my wardrobe, which is super helpful. Um, look number nine. Have I tried to buy this top? Yes, I have. <laughs> is it still out of stock? 
It's not, it's not. Okay, right, when I stop filming this video, I think I'm gonna buy this. I've actually linked up this top, it's from Cars, um, probably for the last like three months on my monthly edit on my blog. I'm obsessed with it. I'm like, I need this top in my life. So I screamed when I saw it on here, it really cracked me up. I was like, yeah, no, I really, really need that top. I've obviously got linen trousers, so then I could do like linen top, linen trousers, because before I've only had linen shirts. And actually I've got a dish black linen top that's a little bit similar to this to wear with the dish black linen bottoms. And it's just so nice to have like the set, the go-to set, like good to go. Um, it's really, really lovely to have a slightly different option when it's really, really warm and you don't want to wear something long sleeved. So this was a vacation look and I really, really liked it. And I'm going to go buy that top immediately once we wrap. <laughs> look number 10 was this satin dress. And actually on my shopping list I've had since the beginning of the year, I do have a silk, satin, some kind of black dress on there. I think for me, and I need to kind of experiment and try some ones on, I just find that strappy, like a strappy slip on me, is like a little bit too formal. I don't know, whenever I put it on, I'm a bit like, oh, there's too much chest or too much boob, and it's not something that I love. This one has quite a high neck on it. Where is it from? I can link all these things down below for you, by the way. Oh, it's from Les Bords, eh? Oh, it's Reformation. Mmm. But it does have quite an open back. I don't know, I, I sort of haven't found the perfect one. I think the perfect one for me would have more of a crew neck top and just that kind of like tank top top, if that makes sense. Um, and I don't know if I want to go like long or midi. I think I did see one on Ghost, so I might pick that up. Um, but yeah, I feel like they have identified an area of my wardrobe that I really need to feel like I identified as well. Um, but yeah, I don't currently have a black long summery dress that fills that like slightly floatier gap. Um, and then look number 11 is an everyday look. Again, with the cream ballet flats, I've got black ballet flats, so we're ticking that box. Again, with that cute little bag that feels like my Alien Nina bag. I don't have white sunglasses, but I feel like I'm just, I'm a, I, I know what I am when it comes to sunglasses. I'm a Ray-Ban RB1240, <laughs> I think that's the code. That's it, that's what I love, or the Dick Moby. I think it's called their CPT style, which they don't do anymore. But I've got my tortoise shell ones hanging around and I'm like, they're my sunglasses that I love. I definitely don't ever feel the itch to buy new ones. Um, with some jeans, I guess like this. And then a little linen waistcoat. Um, I've worked with selfages and I do have a linen waistcoat winging its way to me right now. I've kind of resisted this trend and thought that it wasn't very me, but actually, I think this could be what I've been talking about this whole video, like this whole gap in my top situation. Like, I think this could actually be pretty good for that. Like, that I feel comfortable to go and do like, pick up and drop off with Ralph in it, but also I could wear it to a meeting and it just like ticks a lot of boxes. So not something I currently have in my wardrobe, but something that they've identified as a bit of a gap and I completely agree. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video, like something a little bit different like being styled by an actual stylist and I will definitely debrief you after the call with Alison as well and yeah let me know if you have any local colour analysis recommendations or in London as well and um, I feel like it's something that I would want to do in person to like really properly squeeze all the juice out of it you know like do the real deal but I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this little journey for me you've got some ideas and um, anything that I've spoken about I will try and link down below for you or do like a big LTK edit with the things that I've been wearing as well and yeah I will see you next week with a brand new video see you then <laughs>